Hello, uh, YouTube. Um, today I am uh, featuring my uh, Zumo 660 LM, and this is uh, the unit that I have been utilizing in my on my 2011 Ultra Classic, and uh, I have uh, basically removed the, uh, the motorcycle mount which I will go through here shortly, uh, off that unit. And I'm showing what came in that kit as far as the, the, uh, the Zoom 660. Um, of course, uh, the, the Garmin itself, it's the same as the Harley uh, 660 and the 665. The 665 has a little extra feature to it. Uh, but the Harley version, um, gives you all the Harley dealers nationwide and so if you wanted to find a particular dealership if you're touring or whatever and you could go right there and get it. Um, I didn't find that as a necessary direction I need to be and so I bought the Zumo 660 and uh, and I have uh, utilized it just for the last year or so um, on my, uh, my motorcycle and going around. In the kit in the kit with Zumo 660, you get, of course, your instructions, you get the Garmin, uh, the, the GPS, and in this case, I added a uh, sunshade, which um, you can see here. Um, I got this off of uh, the internet, and uh, it is just Velcroed on there, and uh, I even made a notch in the top for the uh, power button there, and uh, um, it gave a lot of uh, visibility to it in the sun and so forth. In gray days or um, at the evening, you could see it really well. Uh, you get the uh, motorcycle mount. Uh, this can be mounted, uh, mounted on a Harley uh, Electric Glide or, or Street Glide 2013 or newer or older, I should say, with a, a special um, mount. And I will put that in the description of the video itself so that if anyone's interested they can order it through Harley um, or you can mount it to your handlebars either by a handlebar clamp or directly to the uh, um, control uh, mountings themselves and, and in the kit you get uh, a variety of items including a short uh, swivel ram swivel swivel you get the uh, the, the parts to hook it up with and uh, that's all included in this kit. You get a um, car adapter here that uh, you can put on this type of adapter to your windshield or to an uh, on-dash mount. Uh, you get a plate here that you could even stick that to your dash if you wanted to and stick this on there like so and uh, then attach your Garmin to it. The car cord is uh, proprietary to the mount itself. It plugs into the side here and in this particular case it changed from motorcycle to uh, a car application when I made the change which I, I wasn't sure it did that. It comes with a Garmin protective mount for the or a protective cover for the mount. It has a rubberized gasket in the, ba in the back that it uh, completely seals up the the connections here uh, for the back of your uh, Garmin itself. That's what it all touches there. And then of course then you have your computer uh, proprietary computer uh, cord that uh, you get your maps downloaded once you get uh, the Garmin map system put on your computer and it works with Windows or Apple. Um, when I uh, you also get a uh, case that came with uh, the Garmin you take the sunshade off and the case can be stored in that or the GPS can be stored in the case and that way then if you're traveling with it or whatever and don't want to have uh, any damage to it you can do it that way. So that was that this unit here is complete as it came out of the box and I will be selling this unit uh, either via eBay or some other direction. Uh, great little piece but I made a change to go to the new model uh, the Garmin 595 which I have right next to it and uh, it's a little bigger screen 4.3 to 5 inches uh, not a big change in overall size um, but in the box I got the motorcycle mount 
I got the uh, uh, car cord, car adapter uh, to plug it into a cigarette lighter, uh, the, uh, the mount itself, um, a mount to be used on the dash or the windshield if you'd care to, and then of course the proprietary uh, cord for downloading your maps to uh, the GPS itself from your computer. I did buy as an option extra off of Amazon. I got a, a case for it that I can put the uh, the Garmin into and that way I can store it that way. I also uh, got a uh, sunshade and the sunshade uh, came from a company called uh, Metotech. You probably can see that M-A-T-O-T-E-C-T T-E-C dot com. They're out of Germany and uh, there wasn't a U.S. company that provided or at least advertised the sunshade for the Garmin 590 or 595. I understand that the 590 is the same unit, but just doesn't have some of the features such as uh, um, your tire pressure gauge built into it. I'm not doing that, but this has some extra features as well. I went with this because they stated it was a little brighter in the sunlight and I wanted a little uh, better graphics to see uh, as my eyesight hasn't been as good as it used to be. In each case, either the 595 or the 660, uh, they have an SD card slot uh, in the battery compartment area and I'm using the 32 gigabyte uh, ScanDisk Ultra for that. Um, the uh, 660 will have a 32 gig uh, uh, SD card included with the unit itself uh, when I sell it. Um, I put one into the 595, but it's been a great little system. Um, um, I like the 595. I also like the uh, um, the uh, 660, and I've enjoyed having the fact of uh, having a, a GPS. Uh, in my rides itself um, So I will show you how that looks on my bike here and uh, then I'll have a uh, some extra film feature there on how I Took it the other and reattached this one on my uh, 2011 ultra and uh, There were some comments that uh, it wasn't available to do that way, but I was able to show how it was done so now, on the bike itself, um, I haven't gotten started with any of the removal yet, but this is a 660 mount that uh, that you get with the 660 kit, and then, of course, the 590 kit, 595 and the 590 kit, I should say, also will fit in this same direction. Um, when I take this cover off, I'm doing this one-handed, I apologize, but these holes match up with the... Uh, mount for the 595. So uh, in the process to change them over, it's going to I'll go through that process real quick as to how to get the fairing off and then uh, change that out, put it back together, and then it'll just fit in with its same place. But uh, this is the uh, cover for the 660. It's very similar to the 595. All the garments that offer this direction uh, give you one of these in the kit. I ended up buying two, uh, an extra one just because I wanted to keep a protection. And so the 660 kit will have uh, both the cover for the car adapter as well as the motorcycle direction if you were to choose this direction. Okay, I've, uh, I've got my windshield removed. There are uh, seven Torx 27 screws or bolts here. Three on the front for up the top where your um, windshield goes. You remove the two outer ones and the center one and then you get your windshield off and then uh, put the center one back in just loosely to hold it. And then on the inside of your, let me go on the other side here, I didn't work this right, but on the uh, inner side of your fairing you have a screw here and you have one down in there on each side and that takes the lower section of your um, fairing front fairing the fairing off I have uh, put towels over my 
driving lamps and over the fender just in case there. And my next step is to uh, carefully remove the screw on the top. Then I can lift up and out the uh, front part of the fairing and then disconnect the headlight uh, portion in there and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, I have, uh, these are the uh, orange and black leads that come off your uh, um, headlight and orange is positive and black is negative of course and this is the uh, power cord or the power source for the uh, Zumo 660 LM that I have got on the bike currently and I'm gonna have to uh, replace these end caps or these end spades uh, to be able to match up with the uh, existing ones that are from the Harley shop. As you can see, I've, I've brought it through the, um, let's see if I can show this to you. This is the Harley mount for the Zumo 660 uh, 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 adapter mount, I guess you'd say. And the cable comes through and it comes in through here. And then of course I've got it wrapped around. Um, this is the size of hole that I had to uh, elongate in the fairing here in order to get this through as well as I had to take the, few, the fuse out of the uh, power side um, uh, to, uh, to get it through my opening up here. Okay, um, I'm going to probably have to edit this quite a bit, but um, what I've done is I elongated the hole. The original for the Zumo 660 was uh, a rec rectangular hole that was in length about three quarters of an inch plus in order to get the uh, uh, connector through this connector here uh, through the hole. And then on the, uh, since I'm upgrading to the 595, this is about an inch and a quarter in width to that. So I had to elongate the hole up here and um, I used just like a little eighth inch drill, drilled a number of holes to the mark that I had to uh, the size I needed. And then I uh, basically took a little larger gr uh, drill and just used my hand drill to uh, uh, basically route out the, the opening a little bit wider to uh, accommodate this, this opening here. Um, the 595 has a number of other options. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera quite that fast, but um, it has a uh, USB charge cable here, and they give you a ton of cable, but uh, you have to take the cap off in order to get it all fed through, and then once you get it through, it's okay. And then on the uh, power cord, you have a um, fused uh, connection there, and you just have to peel the cap off of that, and it goes right on through once everything's done. Being a little larger hole, it's able to accommodate some things, but... Uh, the mount here, you're just going to uh, ease the cable around through the slot here, make a nice little loop there, and then uh, just reattach the screws to the original mount uh, here. And I'm moving the camera wrong, but this will basically fit up just right here. So uh, the, the mount is the same as the uh, 660 in the sense, except this is a bigger unit. Um, a little different style and setup, but basically it's the same. Um, and then I'm just going to put a little blue Loctite on those screws when I put them in, and it firms out that uh, connection there. Uh, the gasket fits nice and tight. Of course, once you get this tightened in, you don't have to crank it down too tight. you got self-locking nuts on the screws on the other side, and that, that I utilized when I uh, put this together in the first place. But the hole just comes through on the inside of the fairing here, and when you put this thing together, there's a template that you lay up into this corner right here, and it tells you where to drill this first hole. And then once you get everything set up, then you use your gasket, and it measures out where you need to drill the bottom hole, and that's what I did to, to put that together. So um, it's basically in. I just now I just need to uh, gather my wires up, and then. Uh, make some spade connectors 
for my power off my headlight. Uh, orange white is going to be uh, your constant power. Black is your ground. And when the uh, unit kicks on, when you turn your key on, it'll uh, it'll fire up and everything will go from there. So uh, we'll stop it here and I'll show you what the finish direction looks like. All right, I think we've got it uh, pretty well put together now. And I just wanted to uh, uh, show you what I've done in reference to uh, this side of the uh, bike itself. Um, of course, this is the new uh, mount for the Zumo 595. And it's uh, because I had to change out this mount from the Zumo 660, which I had before. It's a little larger, but it fits in just perfectly. Um, the kit includes a, a cover plate uh, that has a, a rubber gasket here on the back that protects your uh, connections there. And uh, so when you're not riding around or needing your GPS, you've got this to cover it up. Um, one thing you want to make sure is that whether you have a cover on it or the GPS is that when this, uh, you see this little uh, rise in the uh, spring clamp there, uh, that needs to be completely down like you see it right there. Otherwise, uh, your, your GPS and your cover will come off itself. So I'll take that off and I will put the uh, Zumo 595 LM on there and you can see that once it's in place it locks and they they made a, a beefier uh, grooving and so forth in that direction to uh, ensure that the GPS doesn't come off your motorcycle or off your car or what have you. On the cabling as it goes around um, the audio out cable I put a jumper cable and I brought it over here to my radio because I'm using just a stock Harley radio and I've rounded it up on here and I just moved it up into this area around the, the bezel for my oil pressure gauge and I just plug it in directly to my uh, auxiliary input on the radio and when I have it turned on as you can see when I turn it on have to get to it. It comes up right away. That's the one thing that I like about the 595. It doesn't take any time for it to, to jump up and of course you get your your camera or your settings and everything. And I'll just disconnect the phone. And uh, this is another DJZ exclusive. I can get this. This is uh, some music that uh, is uh, copyright free and uh, you can hear it through your radio and so forth. If you have it set up for your your helmet through your Bluetooth, uh, either Sina or whatever brand you use, uh, it'll play through that. Um, but I've got it set up to where you can see it and then still see the map. But then you can pause it, go back. And you go to media player, and then you can pick out what you want. But uh, you go back and just pick out to see. Uh, I'm still learning all this stuff, but it's it's pretty nice. So um, you just go back, and then you, it gives you your map and so forth. So um, it's all set up that way. And uh, of course, the power button for the GPS is over here on the back. And I'll show you that. Just turn that off. And then uh, it's all set up. It's pretty clean here. And this is re relatively the uh, same size as the 660. I do have a cover to put on it. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But I wanted to show you what I've done on the other side. And of course, you see the Harley mount here. This is uh, four Harleys, uh, 2013 and earlier versions of uh, fairing mounts, and it could be for an electric glide uh, or a street glide uh, style fairing. And it's uh, pretty simple to put together. Um, I have an earlier video on, on installing the, or getting this uh, set up to drill and so forth. 
in the kit it gives you a little plastic template with a hole there and you just mark the hole and you drill a hole for this top plate then you use the gasket uh, to place the bottom and then in the gasket also gives you a location point to where to drill the, the uh, rectangular hole out for your uh, your um, mount cabling and come through for your Garmin uh, GPS whether it be Harley or a, the Zumo 660 or 665 or the 595 it all come through here 595 requires a bigger hole but it does mount and it does set up just perfectly as you can see I've wrapped up the excessive uh, uh, cabling and I uh, the audio out or uh, correction audio in and a mic in I uh, basically tape those up so I wouldn't get moisture and dust in that and then the audio out I've got the jumper cable uh, plugged into that and that goes on up to the front side of the radio um, and then of course on down here is the power cord and I've taped it to the headlight cord and uh, uh, orange white is your power and black is uh, ground and I basically just used uh, I'll come around here I used just uh, simple little spade connectors I crimped them and then soldered them uh, in there blue for ground red for for the hot and uh, then that was easy enough to set up there and so I'll come back on around here and I've got that all set in and it's uh, it powers up as soon as you have your your ignition turned on and you so your GPS will just all go on around perfectly so and then I um, I'm not sure if I really need this because the the 595 has a brighter screen they say but I find that in sunlight it's still hard to see but this is a little snap-on um, hood that is um, available via eBay it came uh, in from uh, Germany uh, there's nobody in the US that uh, seems to uh, come out with a molded hood that uh, you can put on your GPS and it gives you just enough shade on your GPS screen uh, so that you can see it in the bright sunlight if you're in that case but in uh, cloudy weather or in the evening or early morning it's going to give you a little brighter screen look and and it'll focus it right there for you as well. So I've um, got that set and um, one other thing.